still trying to make up my mind whether this is uh, inhumanely treating animals or if this is just Minecraft and I shouldn't care. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Skies. And then, well, in the last episode we discussed a little bit about what we're going to be doing around base and doing a couple of things. And I've since made a few modifications and I've also done a couple of things. I believe I received this as a, uh, a loot reward from a bee that wandered through. We've managed to collect a few bees at this point, so I guess we can start on the bees. I did do a little bit of work in between episodes just to kind of get us started with this. Now, whether or not we're going to be messing with them right now it's just kind of one of those things i'm not worried about it but uh, i did go ahead and build a few of the natural hives i guess did i put it in here where did i put that other hive there's a stone hive right there and there's a gravel hive laying around here somewhere plus i also kind of started working on the bee construction instruction thing and they're being their normal pain in the butts they're they're i i bees can be a royal pain especially the non um, well, the modified, the modded ones can be really, really, really painful to kind of deal with. But as it is, we're doing well. Things are okay. We've gotten plenty of resources coming out of them, at least not so enough that when the time comes, we can go. So what I did do, again, is I played just, just a teeny tiny amount of time. Let me see. Nests. Nests. Let's look at the nests really quickly, and then we can kind of move on with the rest of what I want to do today. So if you want all the random, regular, everyday bee thingies that you want to play with you need to make a specific nest for the specific thing so like say this little stone nest right here well it says right there will attract those bees so the bees it'll attract are mason bees and digger bees and a digger bee once you decide you want to start playing around with it so like say just you want to start messing around with this when you start breeding digger bees with say chocolate mining bees they will produce quarry bees now quarry bees are one of the first ways you're going to be able to get reasonably usable materials that are just made from wherever so it's going to be dirt and stone i think dirt stone all those kinds of things bar lambs just random things they all all they need is a dirt block to to produce some things and they will continuously do whatever plus you can convert them into geode bees that will get you the geodes for tetra and i think this is the same thing yeah so it's just one of those things we'll have to play with eventually i'm not going to worry about them right now I just wanted to make sure I had that stuff down. So we currently have a digger bee, a ashy mining bee, a mason bee, two mason bees, another digger bee, and a chocolate mining bee. We should have all of the necessary bees that we need in order to be able to do that little bit of work. So uh, also we were talking about having a problem here, and I definitely did have a problem with the spawning of animals. in. And I tested this. I actually kind of, that's one of the reasons why we were kind of, well, I've tested this, and, I'm, and given the fact that we have this eroded badlands uh not a whole lot will spawn here outside of all the random stuff that comes from ours and a couple of the other deals so what i did is i moved the stuff over here or move the grass over here and well i still wasn't getting a whole heck of a lot in the dripstone cave so as for one of the um one of the rewards that we got from one of the, uh, I forget, it was like a very, very early reward. It was one of the things way, way, way up here in the beginning. We'll have to deal with all this stuff. You get a golden egg, and if you snack a golden egg on grass or on anything like that, you will get delightful dirt. And delightful dirt is from mob grinding utilities, and well, that allows us to get some stuff. So uh, I've got chickens, I've got cows, I've got sheep, I've killed multiple um, horses and, and other things just to try get up here you know you can do it uh just so that we can try to kind of just not have this problem anymore uh the other things that we're getting is these guys right here like these whirl springs and the little squirrel looking thing they show up i don't know if they're going to be usable for anything for us right now but we do have at least a little bit of animals to deal with let's get out of this corner so that we don't have to listen to them anymore at least we have that part so we can move forward uh i did go ahead and craft a bunch of the simple compacting drawers just so that i can kind of clean up the mess that is the stuff that we're getting from out of here and i went ahead and made a few of the regular just normal drawers just so that we can have this um functional storage is not storage drawers or at least it's a su successor to it i guess and it is definitely a little bit different compared to the way the other storage drawers have been going i went and made the simple ones because they're just slightly cheaper and for right now we don't need the nuggets which i'm kind of cool with 
well, this functionality. So that got a lot of our stuff down into block form and or easy accessible things and it allows me to do a few things with that. A little bit simpler than that. I also went ahead and made one for the lava just so that that lava storage drawer can or that fluid storage drawer can kind of take care of that little problem. And as I spoke, the speedometer or the stressometer that we were talking about, this is a very, very, very usable handy thing for those of us that don't have the tools from Create to be able to see things. And if we're lucky today, we'll probably get to that point. But so I can show you right now, we're, uh, we've, uh, we've added a few more to the, to the stack, or at least a few more of the water wheels to the stack, but we're running reasonably well. So if I grab this off again, and I do back into a speedometer, this should now say capped out, spinning clear against the wall, or almost, almost. I think we can go just a little more. So either way, doesn't really matter. It's all working fine. Everything's good. We shouldn't need to worry about it right now. Uh, I did go ahead and craft a cooking bowl, cooking pot, just because it, you know, we've got all this other stuff that we have. So cooking pot was relatively cheap, just some more bricks and some stuff. I went after it mainly so that I could use up some of the rice that we've been getting after. So rice will make cooked rice into rice light meals. Or if I do, ah, uh, and I already lost it, didn't I? Um, what is this? Wraps? They're over here. Um... Where did I put them? Right here. The kelp rolls. Uh, once we get done eating a bunch of this random junk that I've already made up, we'll start making some of this other stuff that's fairly simple. So this is just rice, carrots, and kelp. So pretty simple, pretty easy, and it makes an awful, awful lot of food. So we'll uh, we'll have to kind of work through that as we kind of wander on. But anyhow, uh, as I said in the last episode, we're going to start working to try to get towards really, really lots of create power, in which case I'm probably going to start working on building... I've got to make up my mind whether I want create under us or on above us um, because we're not going to need this anymore once we get that done and we're going to need a whole, whole, whole lot of other things to take care of. So I think what I want to do right now while I'm thinking about it is we're going to have to double up on some other stuff and I did verify for the fact that this is actually using up the durability on this helmet plus the helmet will tend to not eat things unless you can just not it, it doesn't let me let me put it like this it's not trying to give you any of the saturation so it just waits until one of your little teeny tiny ham hocks down here go away and then eats the smallest piece of food it can which was why it was eating the um which was i was eating those of the nightshade fruits these things right here because they don't really cover a lot unlike most everything else you're going to get off those trees outside of an elderberry or whatever that's not a whole lot of food so we'll i Got it off for now, and I'm kind of babysitting it as we work on. So what we need to do to move forward is in order to be able to get what I want, I guess we can, let's go ahead and claim our stuff first, and then we can move forward. So anything's good out of here. We're going to get a fluid cable. Yeah, cyclic's in this. We may have to play around with this a little bit more, some more stuff. Um, in here, yes, cooking pot. Make a cooking pot. That'll get us a skillet. That'll get us some raw paste and some more experience. And E-I-E-I-O, look at animals, so basically just get them to breed or do whatever. This didn't really work, like I said. For whatever reason, the, the at least 24 blocks away was not getting any kind of animals to spawn for us. But I will take some more energetic sheep and some more shears. We will maybe mess with energetic sheep eventually. I don't no, I don't want those. Those can go in here and that can go in here for now. Uh, I did make a couple of fun things too as well, and I actually want to put that away before I lose it. What else we got? Elemental craft. Um, something showed up from that. I think we had a loot bee wander through, and we will have to mess around with this. I'm going to leave that unclaimed for right now just so that I know to play with these later on. And, of course, not the bees. We did a little bit of stuff here. So nests, that just get me a snow nest because apparently it's going to be hard to do. We will we'll mess with those. Again, we'll mess with those as we want to, as we play around, as we need to. Um, as I'm starting to find a few things that I don't like. So uh, at least as far as material gathering that I don't like is what we're going to see. Like we spoke last time about how we're not going to be using a certain specific mod in, well, this playthrough. So that one. Now, I did look at this. A little bit further and there is an ability for the pedestals to be able to move items from one point to another but again you're still talking about really 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 
really, really cheap for what you're supposed to be getting it. Uh, let me get into here. I forget. Is that how this works? Yeah, in here, you've got pump. They can pump. They can drain. They can shear. They can... It, I, it's cool. I mean, I, I get the idea. I think it's nice. But, you know, like certain things like right here. So it, some of this stuff will require energy. Some of it will require things when you add specific deals to it. And again, we may eventually use the mod, but we're not going to use the mod for what the, the pack creators have intended us to work with it. So um, looks like it's about time to go to bed. Okay, cool. So, blah, 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 all that speaking about what we need to get after right now is I've got an awful lot of experience on my character that I want to get rid of so we can make a few things later on. I need XP buckets, and the easiest way for us to get XP buckets right now is to make one of these things, which means we need Eyes of Ender. And as far as I knew, the only way we're going to get Eyes of Ender at this point currently is if we, I mean, maybe, can I get these? That's a thing, see a runic tablet. Okay, doing a little clicking through here. I may have to test some of this stuff just to see. We do have the cyclic experience thingy. What's a fireball? That's just a fire charge. I can make fire charges. Crystallized amber is... I have no idea how to get that. I was created in a solidification chamber. Um, can we make a solidification chamber? We need obsidian to do that. We need to be able to get to our, ex our, our, uh, our, our, our XP so that we can make experience buckets out of and i'm hoping maybe like this one will do it uh so that i can craft not the gmo the nutritious chicken feed but we need the gm chicken feed cursed and we need the curse so that we can make a kind of a type of cursed earth that will allow us to spawn mobs and that's going to be the only way that we're going to be able to spawn a specific kind of mob in the nether as far as i can tell so we need to get after trying to get fluid buckets and i don't know other than just that the only way i know how to get this kind of stuff is with either one of these or one of these which i think i don't know fluid amount okay gives us a fluid amount so i'm questioning whether or not we can push that out of something let's see if we can craft this real quick we need some obsidian I don't suppose I have a really simple, easy way to make obsidian without having to craft it or break it, do I? Huh, okay. Well, I can do it that way. Okay, I think. Let's just play around with this for the fun part, just trying to save on the lava. This is one of those things that I'm really very interested in. We're getting slime balls anyway, and we're getting this stuff, so I can craft those all day long. Um, this goes into here, goes into there, goes into that. And you guys can just do this. And that is a magma block, which I already have a fan because I was messing around with a fan, I think. Wasn't I messing around with a fan? I was messing around with something. If not, let's go ahead and make it. We're kind of fooling around with a few other things in between episodes. Not a whole heck of a lot of stuff has gone. Like I made a mechanical saw just to see how much easier it would be to cut those trees down with a mechanical saw. But let's look at a fan. Let's start with some of this other stuff that we're going to be playing with. So an in-case fan is going to require a propeller, so we need four of those. Uh, I should have a hammer right here. One, two, three, four. Nice. And where did you go? There. You need one of those. I should be able to make one of these. And then I think, again, we need to make another andesite casing. And in case, fan, go. Nice. Okay, so we should have room over here somewhere to hook this up. At least this stuff's continuously running. So we'll just hook it right there. Nope. Put it down. Like that. All right, so what an in-case fan does basically is it just kind of blows this direction. And what we can do with an in-case fan, which is kind of fun, is that you can automatically wash or automatically cook things with that little fan. So if I put this right here and I go something like this and just do that. Now you can see the little blue particles right here. So if I take this and put this right here and throw that block in front of it, it's got this little particle effect going on that will eventually turn it into obsidian once it cools off. So essentially that's what that's doing is it's trying to cool it off. When we get done with that, I'm going to show you the other cool little thing we can do with this. Now, 
There it goes. Nice. Without even touching a bucket, without even touching anything else. So if I grab this and I put this back and say now we want to see something really interesting, I can do... Can I... Can I... Can I... That's not amazing. Oh, crap. <sighs> what did we do with that cyclic pipe we just got? Thank you. So if I do something like that and then I grab... Where is my cobblestone? Or even for that matter, something... Just grab a one of those pieces of osmium, and we run lava over here. And I understand that's did the water go away? Okay, good. We can let that fall down for a minute. If I put that over there, that'll go over here. If we see there's a now a flame particle in front of this, we can do something like this. Once it gets done, and it's done, that cooks stuff quickly. What's interesting about that is is uh, a whole lot of fans pointed at one little section like that very very cook things very 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 quickly at least quicker than well some of the other things that we currently have so it's going to be something i'm going to be working on fairly soon is to get something set up like this so that we can play with something like that anyhow let us uh i guess i can put this away maybe it's weird i can't take it out of it i can put it in it but i can't take it out of it whatever all right um and I guess we can put the skillet down over here. We'll figure out what this does later on. Another thing I did do, and again, um, just me learning, me learning, is I went ahead and made a couple of the tables from the chipped mod. And chipped is going to give us quite a bit of fun when it comes to, I think the mason will actually talk with this one right there, right? So this is how we're going to get all the little random oddball blocks that we would normally get with chisel, because this, this is how I guess it works now. Um, this sucks because this is not automatable, at least from what I can tell. Um, can tell unless there's like an auto something that we can mess with it. But as far as making all of the really fun blocks, we can at least get some things. You know, like there's not an auto chisel with which comes into the uh, chisel mod. So if like you wanted to make a whole bunch of the same block over and over and over again it would uh, be a little bit easier but let's see if we can't get our experience out of ourself uh where is it that thing so i just need a glass bottle an emerald and some iron and this thing got out uh iron and i guess we can just grab a glass bottle from over here Is this going to let us do what we want to do? Okay, so I'm hoping this is going to work, at, at, you know, as it is what it is. Um, we should be able to put our experience into this and then pull it out and put it into buckets, hopefully. So with the stuff that we've currently got, um, maybe I need to move this backwards. Why don't you go back over? Nope. You go over there. We'll see about maybe using this just for right now without having to make another thing. And you can go right there. Store all the levels. So that's a little over three buckets. Well, three and a half buckets. Will this work? Yes. All right. Nice. So we can put that in there. And I need to gain a little bit more experience. And I also believe in order to make that GMO chicken food, chicken feed, in order to make this stuff, I need a bone, spider eye, and rotten flesh. And I'm pretty sure I've managed to accumulate some of that already. So we've got a couple of bones. Somewhere I know I had a spider eye. There we go. So we just need to get a hold of a little bit of rotten flesh, which means uh, I need to go make a dark spot. I'll be right back. Once again, it takes entirely too long given all the additional stuff that tends, <coughs> tends to drop with all of these guys. So uh, we do finally have a little bit of rotten flesh. And since I went ahead and dumped all of these furnaces that we had laying around, we should now have... All of the experience that we need to get this over with and done. Go ahead and just get rid of these potatoes, please. 
Uh, cool, that was something I haven't eaten. So I should now have four buckets of that stuff. I need four metal buckets, of which I should have a few of those laying around. Where are they? All right, four experience buckets to GMO. Ah, uh, let me see. Chicken feed, chicken feed, chicken feed, chicken feed, chicken feed, chicken feed. Uh, any seed gunpowder, so we just need a seed. I may even have one laying right here somewhere. If not, there's plenty right here. I mean, I cannot wait to get this over with so that we can start actually building base. Because as soon as we get the next power generational facility thingy for the create mod, we are going to go to it and get to work on it. So, all right, cursed chicken feed. Let's take a look at this really quickly. This should be down here in Monster Hunter. Oh, I still have a bunch of stuff. All right, I had to make a sword. So, yay, lovely. And mob farming and you. Oh, nice. So you're going to give me a... Dang it. Um, can store up to, oh, wow, so that, like, can hold a really, really, really lot of, uh, that was a good choice then, nice, um, so, if I just tell you to go back over there, then you'll be over there, that's fine, cool, so, what did we want this for, well, it's basically what it says right there, feed it to chickens, single use for the chicken creates a rotten egg, now, we should have several chickens in here already, somewhere, um, I don't know how quickly it's going to do it. You, sir. Well, that worked. Awesome. So now we have a raid. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. So a rotten chicken egg. Rotten chicken egg is going to make just what it says right here in the Monster Hunter section. Well, I got Monster Hunter at Mob Farming and you um, now that we have this going. So hostile mob farm. This is how you make it work. Dreadful dirt can be used to make a mob farm on steroids. Do not get it exposed to sunlight or else it might burn up. It's basically using the nether, nether to get blazes and wither skeletons at, to spawn anywhere, which is amazing. I'll also get us a couple of those, and I think I already did this one, possibly. Uh, no, we have to create that feed, but that was a reward that we got that got us that over there. Now, one thing I am seeing for certain is that whatever is wrong, whatever is up with this area here, where we are currently in eroded badlands over in this corner, it seems like there's a serious problem with the way mobs spawn compared to being in dripstone caves. Because like, I I, I, I just kind of was building this section out over here and had a massive pile of stuff spawn because I forgot to light it up right before I slept. Whereas over here, I'm literally sitting here waiting on it for a while to do some stuff. So anyhow, we've got a few things now out with some feathers, some more eggs. We've got lots of eggs now and some of those. I'm gonna hang on to those because those are crafting ingredients for right now and I guess what we need to do given the last of this little bit here is well we need to go to the nether so I guess I need to go ahead and build a nether portal and get ready to go to the nether so let me get on to that we'll put it over here, I think. Okay, neither portal. We'll just go ahead and stick this in the wall over here next to all these loud animals because it's a great place for another portal. Always. And boink, boink, and get our flint and steel. And actually, I'm going to finish that wall because I have a really bad habit of just running right out of that thing sometimes. So we'll do something like that and fill the hole in where you were making that at. Let's go over here. Where did you put that flint and steel? Yeah, you know, sometimes it's just blind right in front of my face kind of stuff. Let's go over here and light this puppy up and put that up so that we get a nice little thing to see. And, all right, we're going to jump in, and I think in the next episode, we're going to go have a lot of fun playing around in the nether. Having a little bit of fun in the nether. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Hang on a minute. Before I get excited, make a little platform. Sorry for the noise. I apologize.
Soul Sand Valley right off the bat. And Basalt Deltas. Eh, nice. Um, the Soul Sand Valley's kind of nice because it's a... There's some special mobs that just pr particularly spawn in both of these. But that also means we're not going to be able to make a Piglin Hoglin farm right off the bat. But that's no big deal. We'll be able to play with those kinds of things as we go. Quit running around the outside of this portal. So, in the next episode, we're going to be making uh, use of that egg that we got. Uh, where, wherever, go, go back inside before you get murdered. Just go in here, please. We'll make use of that egg that we got to build a farm that we're going to be able to use to make a bunch of nether, never, nether related stuff that we should be able to, and I know it sounds kind of silly, power with something like this. So, I think until then, uh, poor little Starbuncle is going to sit there and run in that thing forever but we'll start messing around i think a little bit more with the create mod and some more of the other fun stuff that is coming towards us as we go so i guess uh go ahead and grab all of those and go ahead and grab all of those i guess i could have gotten a little bit of extra stuff there beautiful really see i was wondering how i was going to be getting these whoop wrong button Data models, the data models for the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 that, that mod that exists, where is this, um, this stuff. I was wondering how we were going to get that for the, for, for that particular mod. I'm not really worried about it right now, but yeah, we're good to go there. Go ahead, eat that, just get rid of it. Goodbye. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.